What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an emulator that plays Nintendo DS games and Game Boy Advance games. It's called No Cash GBA. Okay, first we're going to head over to 7zip.org and we're going to download 7zip. We're going to use this to extract the emulator. Link in the description below. Then we're going to head over to emulatorzone.com, link to this page also in the description below. And if we scroll to the bottom of the page, you will see your emulator no cash GBA 3.05. Go ahead and click on this and your download should start. I now have the emulator downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to extract the emulator. So what you want to do is right click on this zip file, go to 7zip and extract the no cash GBA. This will give you a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip file, so let's right click on it and delete it. Go ahead and open that new folder and this file right here will be your emulator. Let's open it. Now this emulator is super easy to set up because it's already set up for you. If we go up to options, emulation setup, everything here at default settings work perfect. If we go over to controls, your controller will already be set up for you. And I am using an Xbox One controller with this emulator. Just make sure you have it connected to your PC before you launch the emulator. And any wired controller will work as well. And the emulator will automatically detect that controller and set it up for you. Now, if you would like to change anything, of course, you could come here to your emulation settings or your controller settings, and you could change some things around. But by default, everything works perfect. Now when you're ready to load up a game, all you want to do is right click anywhere inside of the emulator and go to load game. Locate your Game Boy Advance games or your DS games. I have some Game Boy Advance games right here. We'll load up Mega Man Zero Two. Click on the game and the game should start. If you want to load up a DS game, same thing, right click load game go ahead and locate your ds games on your pc and i'll load up pokemon black Now when you load this emulator back up, you have the option to get to one of the last nine games you played on this emulator easily. All you wanna do is go up to file and you will see the last nine games you played right here in this list. You just click on one of them and that game will load. Now if you wanna go full screen, right click and select full screen. And that's it. As you see, this is a super easy and simple emulator to set up for both Game Boy Advance and Game Boy DS games. The only thing I don't like about this emulator is that there is no upscale feature. So if you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one.